Hello everyone and welcome to the DeerCast. Uh, today we're doing a slightly different video uh, and one that has been requested um, by you guys, the viewers, uh, talking about cleaning rifles. Now, the first thing to say is I'm slightly particular about how I clean my rifle, um, uh, or rifles plural, um, and also slightly unusual in that I clean my rifle every single time uh, I've squeezed the trigger. Uh, the reason behind that is I think the more often you do it, the easier and quicker uh, it becomes because you're removing less stuff out of the barrel. Um, if you leave something relatively clean, use it and then clean it again, it just takes you much less time. I also find that if I've cleaned my rifle, put it away, the next time I go to get it, I know exactly what condition it's going to be in um, and I, I know it's going to function exactly how it's supposed to. I also don't find that I get a change in zero after I've cleaned. Uh, there is a slight caveat to that, which we'll come on to in a second. Um, and I just think for the sake of five minutes cleaning your rifle afterwards, if that's gonna prolong the life of it, uh, then so be it, great, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So um, if I've got out, I've shot my rifle, um, first thing I do is I bring it back. Uh, if it's the kit plow, I've taken it apart. If it's a normal bolt action rifle, take the bolt out. I'll put it into this, which is a case guard um, gun cleaning station, basically. Uh, uh, stock sits in there, four end sits in there. Um, then before I do anything, I'll go through with a bronze uh, wire brush uh, on the end of this one piece uh, fixed cleaning rod. Uh, it's plastic coated, so in theory shouldn't do any damage to the barrel. In fact, it's one piece means it does, there are no sort of joins in it to catch on anything. Uh, so I'll pop that through, um, go all the way through the barrel, out the other end, back through, and I'll just do that a couple of times just to loosen everything up. Uh, I then take the bronze brush off the barrel and I put uh, this, which is a Tipton spiked uh, patch brush, on the end of the um, uh, rod here. And I'll put, I've got some pre-cut cotton Tipton cleaning patches. I'll put one of those on there, which I give a light spray with Napier gun cleaner. Uh, push that through the barrel, take the patch off, and I just then start putting dry patches through until they come out clean. I tend to find if I fire one or two shots, I'm gonna need maybe three, four patches, and then the barrel's sort of clean, in inverted commas, all the patches are coming out clean. Uh, once, that done, once that's done, I'll give the gun a quick uh, once over with a cleaning cloth and a little bit of oil, and I don't use anything special, just Napier gun cleaning oil that's got VP90, so rush, rust inhibitor in it. Um, if the gun is having a really special day, it might get a bit of wax uh, on the stock, but otherwise tend not to, tend not to bother. Um, once a year, uh, I will give the gun a sort of deep clean, if you know what I mean, uh, and that's when I'd use this, which is the Forest Foam um, uh, Cleaner, which for, none of, for any of you that haven't seen it before, essentially you pop that bit in the breech or the, or the barrel, doesn't matter which end, um, and you spray it and it comes out as a foam, it settles in the barrel, it then sort of dissolves down into a liquid, uh, and it's really, really good at removing sort of hard um, baked on stuff, but also copper. Um, I don't use this every single time I clean my rifle because it is quite severe. Um, and what I mean by that is if I do use this, I do get a change in impact, uh, impact in terms of zero, but I do find it's really good at removing absolutely everything out of a barrel. Um, my moderators, I will give a quick clean, uh, quick, sorry, a quick spray with this, which is Silent Save uh, from Napier. To tell you, I've no idea if it does or doesn't work, but my moderators have been going strong for five, six years, um, and supposedly this just helps loosen all that stuff off. It gives it a, a, um, a treatment of VP90, so again, stops rust and stops corrosion. If I'm out in the field or say I'm stalking and, I, and I've shot something one evening and I know I'm going back out the next morning, I won't necessarily go through the rigmarole of, of cleaning everything like this. Um, and I use a simple pull through from your Kelly, uh, which is it's a sort of coated wire like this and you put patches on the end of it and they're different colours depending on what calibre you're cleaning for. Uh, this is a 308 and essentially you just coat that sort of patch, it's got a smooth side and a, a hard side or rougher side, coat that in some cleaner, pull that through the barrel a couple of times and it just removes the worst of, um, the, worst of the crap that's left in the barrels and it's, it's the primer residue you really want to get rid of rather than anything else and this, this will do exactly that for you. Um, that is how I clean my rifles, um, I'm sure all of you have got totally different ways uh, and cleaning methods and uh, 
items that you use and different lubricants and cleaners, all the rest of it. That's just how I do it. A few of you were asking, so I thought I'd let you know. Any comments, questions, queries, uh, or any suggestions in terms of improvements, different ways I could do it, um, please do feel free to leave a, leave a comment uh, in the uh, comment section. As per usual, please remember to uh, like and subscribe as well. Thank you very much.